Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel for the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So let's begin your reading Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio, what I'm noticing from this situation is there's definitely an indication that some of you are feeling challenged in terms of communicating with an individual that you're dealing with. I'm feeling like, you know, in this situation, there could be a lack of communication. The two of you might not be seeing eye to eye. It might be too painful to talk right now. And there could be, you know, a plethora of reasons of why this is happening. But I feel like when this two energies come up, it talks about a lot of thoughts that are being put into, you know, the situation. But also it's, you know, going into the fact that when things are too hard to talk about, right, there's much deeper issues that are going on within rather than what's happening inside of the mind. So I feel like the heart is being blocked here, right? So we'll look at this energy. But the next energy I see is that everything right now in your love life, it's happening at a pace in which you're feeling very uncomfortable. It could either be moving really, really fast and you don't have control, you don't have power, you don't know how to deal with this, or it could be, you know, moving at a pace that you're still not happy with. It's either, you know, ridiculously fast, or, you know, you're just not prepared for what is happening. I feel like there's a lack of preparation in this uh, relationship. The next card I'm looking at is showing to me that in terms of new beginnings, in terms of fresh starts, it's very hard to get things going. Right, so let's start clarifying these energies. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. So I see that someone is fighting something. It feels as if there's this energy where one individual is trying to push something away. And I feel like the individual you're dealing with, it feels as if their mind is preoccupied with something else, right? And you want to connect to them, but you can't connect to them right now because as I've mentioned before, they're not even paying attention to the situation. They're clearly very distracted. There could be other things that are happening in their life where they're looking at, you know, how to fix some of these issues in their world, how to resolve some of these difficulties. I'm feeling like the energies are showing to me that you're moving rapidly towards them and they're moving towards you as well. It's like the universe is bringing the two of you together, but this individual is very distracted by something else that is going on here. And that's why I feel like 
you know, you're trying to get an opportunity with this person, but they're not seeing that you're going towards them and you're trying for this. And you may have been trying for it for some time, but I feel like this individual is distracted by something else that is going on in the situation. Perhaps they have other things to worry about. Perhaps they have, you know, things that their mind is dealing with right now. So it's a very, very difficult, difficult situation. Okay, let's look at the next energy. So I haven't seen this card in a while. And what I'm seeing is that in this situation, right, there's a lot of things that are happening. But what I'm sensing is that there's an external energy coming into play. It's trying to force the two of you to look at each other, to recognize each other. It could be the Mercury retrograde trying to pull the two of you together. And yet at the same time, there's so many other things that are out of balance, out of sync, that is not allowing for this to happen. And so it's coming down to timing and someone being preoccupied with something else that's going on in the situation, which is quite unfortunate because I feel like very heavily these two energies are in alignment with what the universe is hoping to achieve. But again, one individual has their mind on something else and they can't really concentrate, focus. And potentially, I would not be surprised to see a card pop up here, which would indicate that they're not really listening to their inner voice. They're not really paying attention because their mind is elsewhere, right? So what I'm seeing is a very great frustration here because one individual really wanted to make things work here, but I feel like every time the two of you are, you know, being pulled together, one individual just doesn't want to talk because it's too painful to deal with. There's a reason here that this is happening. I feel like someone has been bottling up emotions and not dealing with their feelings, and it has become incredibly painful, incredibly difficult to deal with. There has been this energy of not, you know, allowing for this connection to truly happen. And so I feel like, you know, something is pulling the two of you apart. And of course, there is going to be an extended reading, which is going to tell you, you know, how to pull this relationship back together. Because if you look at these cards, it gives you a direct indication of the fact that every time there's a chance for the two of you to come together, there's some sort of conflict, there's some sort of frustration that pops up and prevents this from happening. Let's look at the next energy. You know, it just dawned on me right now that there's two cards which are calling upon new beginnings and they're both in reverse, both of them. So that tells you a lot. So I'm seeing that this individual that you're dealing with, right? They're being challenged because they don't want to open up their heart. They don't want to open up their mouth. They don't want to talk about this. In fact, they just want to think about it silently and keep a lot of their thoughts to themselves right now. This individual is going into a place where they're looking for wisdom. They're looking for something that they're trying to figure out. You know, there's a very big contrast between this energy and... Another energy in the tarot deck, which talks about, you know, following your intuition, the high priestess. I feel like the contrast between the two is where one, you know, gathers the information or observes things 
and uh, questions. The other just has this understanding of it, doesn't really have to look into, uh, you know, uh, the thought much because uh, they have a fully, uh, you know, strong understanding of the situation, mind my English. But anyways, what I'm trying to get is there's a difference here between these two energies because I feel like this individual has been ignoring something inside of them and it's coming from the fact that they've felt or they've been feeling very, very empty right now. It's like all their glasses are empty. All of their glasses is empty and they are exhausted and they don't know what to say. But I also feel like they're thinking very deeply and they're trying to figure something out. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at what is this individual feeling towards you? What are the main problems here? How to, you know, move forward in the situation, given that this reading is focused on the current energy, which is unfolding in your life right now. You can find the link in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.